Yo, what up? It's your boy, um, the Prince of Gardeer. I wanted to do a quick video for you guys, uh, just about the the way to fix broken sauces. <clears throat> it's a little dark in here. Let me see if I can get some light. It's a little better, huh? So yeah, how to fix a broken sauce. Um, so there's hot sauces and there's cold sauces. An example of a cold sauce would be a vinaigrette, right? It's three parts oil, one part acid. Um, it's what you would call a temporary emulsion, which would be like an Italian dressing. So you have an Italian dressing, you shake it up before you use it. And after you use it, you put it in the fridge and you notice that it separates into two parts. That's the oil and that's the water. The vinegar is mostly water. It's about five parts acidic acid and 95% water or apple cider or rice wine or whatever it is that, depending on what kind of vinegar it is. But that's a temporary emulsion. A permanent emulsion would be like a mayonnaise. And it's a permanent emulsion because it has the same things that a vinaigrette has, but in addition to that, it also has um, <clears throat> egg yolks, and the egg yolks act as the emulsifier, which solidifies that emulsion. And it does that because as the proteins inside of the egg yolk are cooking inside of the acid, or uh, if you were making a hollandaise or something like that inside of the heat, um, the, the proteins change their structure and they become kind of a cage for uh, the oils and the water. And so it keeps them from separating. But if it gets too hot, or I guess sometimes if you add the, the oil too fast before the egg yolks can absorb the oil, um, or maybe you just have too much oil and not enough egg yolks, which was a problem when we were making our, um, our Caesar dressing at, at one of the jobs I worked, uh, I guess about a year ago, <laughs> um, we would have to fix it and with hollandaise or caesar or mayonnaise the emulsifiers egg yolks so what you would do is just get more egg yolks and put them in a bowl with like a little bit of lemon juice or a little bit of vinegar and then you would take the broken hollandaise or the broken mayonnaise and you would add it to it slowly as you whisk so you're whisking with one hand and you're adding the broken sauce in slowly with the other. Um, to keep the bowl from moving, you can take a towel. Here's a towel, right? And you kind of, well, I'm gonna do this, I don't know if you can see it, you kind of whip it, right? And then you fold it like that, and you put the bowl inside of the circle, right? You make a little circle with the towel, and it's gonna hold the bowl in place, so that'll make it, Easier to do it with one hand. <laughs> uh, with a bechamel, I think the main um, emulsifier would be roux, would be the protein that's in the flour. So if your bechamel breaks, um, you just go ahead and, and you make a roux, which would be equal parts flour and butter, and then you add the broken bechamel to it um, slowly giving it an opportunity to kind of emulsify and how much roux or how much egg yolks i think depends on how much of whatever it is that you're making you have so one of the rules that i use when i'm making uh hollandaise or mayonnaise or caesar is i try to use one egg yolk per like eight ounces of oil or eight ounces of butter so yeah with the bechamel it's a little bit harder i guess I'm going to have to do another video or maybe just come back and do something uh, on the bottom of this one and try to explain uh, how much I use. Right. Um, what was the other one? Oh, uh, we at the place I work now, we have a beurre blanc, which is a white butter sauce. And uh, it breaks. Sometimes it breaks when it just looks at the heat. When it gets near the heat, it'll break. Just the heat of the, the air will break it. I don't know if, if I don't know, something. It's very sensitive. And, and so um, you can use cream because it's a butter sauce. So the milk 
protein um, is is what stabilizes that. And so just like a spoonful, like a you know tablespoon of cream, and you just can kind of mix it, and you'll see it come back together. Um, yeah, I think that's the easiest way to fix it. So yeah, how to fix a broken sauce um, with a little bit more of an emulsifier.